No, this isn't the shimmering golden palms you see on the M6. Believe it or not, this is one of the phenomenons of the 20th century. This is a BBC2 camera unit at Granada Studio. What's that petrol bomb? So we're here actually at the home of the comedians, the program I'm actually in uh, at the present time. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to take you up to our producer, Johnny Hamp, and we're going to have a chat. There's a couple of comedians up there, George Roper, Kenny Goodwin, they're up there. We're all going to have a wee chat about the program, things like that. Now, I'll be going up by lift. You, for the first time on TV, will be travelling by E-type camera. <laughs> so let's talk about this Christmas show. Yeah, go on. This, that's the set up, right? Yeah. It's a club atmosphere. Mm. There. You're all at tables. Yeah. Who are you going to bring as your guest? Um... Pat Creran. Ian Paisley. Yeah. Ian Paisley. No, yeah. Ian Paisley. <laughs> Besides, he doesn't drink. Because <laughs> I'll drink it. And uh, uh, Georgie Best and a few of his friends dropping in. Great. We'll try and get Sir Mad Busby and his wife, Lady Jean. Well, great, because Georgie's doing a fit football number. We won't have to pay well, him. Well, we won't have to pay him. Tell him who's comparing, by the way. Oh, yeah, Georgie's comparing the right way through, you see. Until <laughs> halfway, and then you do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that means I can't do that. <laughs> If, I, if, I'm not, if I'm not the star of this particular show, I must go temperamental and ask for money. Yeah. <laughs> That's that over. Fuck yeah. you, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be introducing the yeah. show. I'll introduce each artist individually, see? Right. Uh, each person will do, we'll start with his five minutes of gags, which we'll edit afterwards in the normal way. Yeah. And then he does his party piece, you see? Yes, well, now, it's a football song. George's doing the football song. But that's not but his party piece. The Wellies song. Have you not a song about Wellingtons? Oh, do that. The Wellingtons? The Wellies. Are you telling the gag about the Queen? <laughs> Come on, no, no. Tell them what about the Queen? About what, the one Irishman. One? Which one? Oh, but the Irish fellow with the uh, wallpaper. Yeah, yeah, go on. Tell the one. That's oh, the one. Oh, you tell it better than me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you tell it better than me. He won't tell it because it's a gag, you see. I'm no <laughs> fool. I'm not putting on so, the BBC. When we're all together with Johnny Hamp, we always seem to be acting a fool, but believe me, for the 30-odd funny men, the comedians, who can get through as many as 500 gags in a seven-episode series, you can see that being funny can be a very serious business. The reason I, I loved uh, doing The Comedians was the, the Comedians, as opposed, you could say, it was the only show, it is the only show ever, that has given uh, club comics who have, have really kept the business going and it has given these chaps a chance. So many comedians have got, uh, a lot of them, of course, that lacked experience just didn't get through. And, of course, as far as the gags were going, the people who did come through, like George, or Ken, uh, Charlie Williams, myself, Bernard Manning, all the name comedians now, and uh, there are comedians who have made a name for themselves purely through the comedians, they've never had a chance on any other programme. It's opened up the gates for the likes of you and myself and the rest of the boys, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah. You know, and I think... Uh, Whereas at one time it was a close shot, wasn't it? You got the big names at the top, yeah. and uh, if you were a comic, another comic, if it was you a big name, on. wouldn't have you on his bill That's right. because it would be frightened if you're taking too many yeah. laughs away. Or we've had ten comics, and each comic, all purely, what's the beautiful thing about it, purely professional comedians who tell gags, if they can hear a gag that they do, and in actual fact, I've heard a gag that I done, and somebody else done it, and they actually told the gag much funnier than I did. Yeah, that happened and I, I, Frank. Yeah, and I cut, it out, I cut it out. So to finish up now, I've got no gags and everybody else is funnier. <laughs> I know where you can get a good script from. Where? Go to the Embassy Club, walk in the dressing room, and have a look on the wall, and you'll see it all written down there. Your act, my act, George's act. <laughs> Everybody's act. Right? Yeah, yeah. But well, what are you going to do for your party piece, anyway? Me? Drop yeah. his kicks. Oh, I'll do... <laughs> I'll do... Do, you do the Irish tenor. Oh, yes, that'd be lovely. Give us a minute. Come to take your seat out for that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> worth the tenor. Well, do a bit of the tenor. Let's hear it. Oh, the tenor. Right, so I get... Uh, I'll come out with the claw hammer coat. Yeah. Yes, and the cap. No, you've got to play it straight, because the, the music is straight. We've got the music in up. Yeah, uh, so you've got to be straight. Oh, I, I, I thought we were going to say the pianist. No, the, pian yeah. the voice gets the laugh. Does it? Yeah, so that means you've got to wear all the gear and look, look okay. right. So he gives it to me, give me an intro. Hey, oh, are my heart's delight, and how it was, I'm on to feed. No, makes my darkness light, oh, my light is hard. That phone right? maybe it's for me. Uh, if it's a book and I'll take it. <laughs> Do you know you can have a free abortion on the national health? 
You read that? A free abortion. Only there's a 12 month waiting list. <laughs> and Maggie Murphy went to the doctor. She said, I've forgotten to take my contradictive.